Okie dokie. Hello, my name is Caleb and today we are going to be reviewing and unboxing Hobby King's Ezio 800 glider. This glider has a wingspan of 800 millimeters, a 3900 kV electric motor, um, and it is built of balsa and ply. The rest of the specs are on the side of the screen. This is a three channel model, meaning it only has three functions, throttle, elevator and ailerons. The elevator and aileron servos are EMAX servos, ES9051s. They seem to be of good quality, although they're connected to the control surfaces via snakes, which isn't preferable, but I'll work with it. The covering is good quality, a few things that could be worked out with an iron here and there, and the hinges are tape. It's good quality, and I'll move on to the fuselage. The fuselage is the same as the wing. Good quality, nice covering, a few lightning holes here and there in the tail and on the bottom of the fuselage. There, another Emacs servo controlling the elevator. The foldable props up the front here connected to the 3900 kilowatt motor. The battery hatch is connected via magnets and the small ESC is inside there. There's not much room for the battery in there, we can only get it in with a bit of nudging. It's good quality construction, not made of matchsticks. Okay. Mm -hmm. The tailplane is made of sheet balsa, there are lightning holes in it as well. Same tape hinge for the elevator and a nice little plastic horn on the underside screws on just behind the rudder. We also have a bag of nuts and bolts. Two wing screws and one tail screw. It's also got a coloured instruction manual, it's one page, that comes with helpful photos. CG position and all up weight. Now to put it together. It's time for the stickers. Alright, it's Toby now. You can see that both of them are now finished. Yes, I just said both of them. Caleb and I both got one. They were $15 each in the Hobby King Cyber Sale a few weeks ago. Alright, so, this is my one. In the traditional design that is on the manual. Except I didn't include the H King logos because I didn't feel like they were needed. I put all the Ezio stickers on and everything as it shows in the manual. Whereas Caleb decided to put the stickers that go on the underside of the tail planes on the front. So it looks like it's got a cockpit. And decided to put his Ezio stickers in random other places and stuff. And the wing is as usual. I'd say we'd give it a uh, 5 out of 10. It's a great model, it's easy to build, it's just not very, it doesn't have the most powerful motor, as powerful as I'd like it. It does vibrate a little bit when you're flying it. And it's very, very twitchy unless you have Expo programmed into your receiver. You don't, there's not really a use for this type of model for us, but they fly terrifically, they can do whatever you want them to if you push them hard enough, and they're a bargain. They don't fly as well as I'd like them to. The battery hatch is too small to fit a battery to get a decent flight time, but that's just the cons. The pros are it's got nice sized control surfaces, it looks great, it soars very nicely for the small wing that it has. And it's got ailerons for a three channel instead of just elevator and rudder, which isn't the best design. So, this was the Hobby King Ezio 800mm glider on Kiwi RC. You can buy them by following the link below. 
Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Might as well hang it on the wall. Alright, time to put this one away.